and also said that uh, the AI also has to answer the many queries which is related to the human life, which machine has to answer. Definitely, we are expecting that we will be getting this kind of answers in the future. Thank you, ma'am, for being here. Uh, from your busy schedule, you just came over here to attend this international conference. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thank you. On the behalf you, of the Department of Commerce, uh, ma'am, kindly just accept our appreciation certificate. On the yes, I would also you, like to thank, thank Dr. Senthil Kumar for inviting me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Moving on to the next, it gives me an immense pleasure to say that we have received the national and international research papers. On the various topics, uh, on the various topics related to the whole things. Without presentation, without presentation, any international conference is incomplete. Here are the, some of the faculties who are going to present their paper. First of all, I would like to call Assistant Professor Ms. Vanika to go ahead with her presentation. Good afternoon to everyone. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, it is visible. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Myself is Vanita from Department of Commerce. I'm working as an assistant professor and I'm a research scholar too. The topic that I have chosen is recent trends in recruiting and selecting people through AI. This is my introduction part, and I just want to share my key points with you all. Artificial intelligence is a technology which is used by the employer and the employee to complete the task from anywhere, any place, and at any time. The impact of technology on the HR function is quite profound. New technological advancements lead the employee to learn different technical works. Every organization has its own vision as well as its mission. Moving on to my tech, uh, objectives. Moving on to my tentative objectives. These are my tentative objectives uh, to identify the process of recruitment and selection by using AI to evaluate recruiting a person in short duration, to ascertain who is fit in the organizational culture, to improve the quality of candidates through effective training process, to analyze the stages of selection procedure in recruiting the people through digital medium. And this is the need for my study. The purpose of my study is based on AI and its growth in human resource management to recruit the skilled candidate by the use of modern technologies that we have adapted till today. To give equal employment opportunity to all the people through artificial intelligence. And these are the scope for the further study, which will be useful for future Employment opportunity increases as the artificial intelligence predominantly creates more opportunities. Technology has more advanced. It helps to save the time of the job seeker as well as the job provider. E-recruitments like Nokri indeed are familiar in the recent times. And in the upcoming duration, many competitive websites may recruit people through artificial intelligence. Moving on to my limitations, limitations that I have faced time factor and the accuracy of the study can be affected as it is based on conceptual framework. These are the limitations that I found and the review of literature and the factors influencing selection of hires are nature of job, number of employees, selection procedure, cost budget and the educational qualification. These are the factors that influence a person to select during the HR recruitment. Process of recruiting and outsourcing are internal recruitment, 
external recruitment and outsourcing we are familiar with outsourcing till today and i just would cut, uh, i just would like to conclude with few words based on my article the growth and development of ai in hrm is played more in the current pandemic situation recruitment and selection process are done through the online mode and effective training process effective training process is provided in the digital medium for various jobs artificial intelligence has overtaken the use of human resource while recruiting and selecting a candidate thank you thanks for the opportunity provided by our hod dr cb sendal sendal kumar sir thank you sir thank you vanita ma'am next i would like thank to call assistant professor jayanti ma'am to go ahead with her presentation ஆண்டர்பிரனர்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்ஸ்ரன்
Now, your days, 58.5 million entrepreneurs in India, nearly 14 percentage are women. Indian women owned business provide employment for 13.45 million people. About one third of the Indian women entrepreneurs work in the non durable goods, followed by manufacturer and retail trade. A recent uh, research of entrepreneurship has also been overwhelmingly studied from a male perspective, in spite of significantly different motivational, financial, and emotional factors for women for pursuing entrepreneurship compared to men in the existing literature. Therefore, the present work mainly focuses on a role on women entrepreneur in digital marketing and promoting consumer non-durable goods. Next one, objectives. To investigate the role of women entrepreneur in digital marketing and promoting consumer non-durable goods with a reference to Chennai. To know the conceptual framework of digital marketing, to know the role of women entrepreneur in digital marketing, to analyze the impact of digital marketing on promoting consumer non-durable goods and the consumer buying behavior. To analyze the entrepreneur's opinion towards digital marketing at Tamil Nadu in Chennai region. To offer suggestion to improve the services rendered to women entrepreneurs. Next one, conclusion. Entrepreneurs work on their business and they need good profit and higher growth. An entrepreneur greatest need is to get a good reach in a shorter time without doing much work. Digital marketing will provide tremendous growth. <laughs> Hello. Growth in a shorter time. Online marketing strategies to help in the growth of digital marketing. It can be concluded that entrepreneur may use the techniques such as competitive intelligence, the design work, the tactical execution, and the success measurement, record effort, and the cost of money. Thank you. Thank you, Jainthi Ma'am. I would like to inform to the audience that feedback link will be posted after this paper presentation in the chat box. Moving on to the next, I would like to call Assistant Professor Shri Sharman sir to go ahead with his presentation. Okay, good morning, Anand. Presented here. Uh, my topic is based on artificial intelligence used in stock market to predict the stock market uh, price of the stocks. Okay, we know uh, we know about stock market. It's giving Indian market about last two decades and overall world market about uh, past 100 days, more than 100 days. So we are trying to predict the market every day and every year, every quarter and quarter. So how many of you successfully predict the market is the question. So we try to we try to objectify our studies into how our artificial intelligence is focusing to predict the stock market. So we, we before we have a fundamental research, technical analysis to predict the stock markets, but it's not enough for stock markets to predict enough of the prices. So we are we are coming together and uh, we are focusing on uh, artificial intelligence, how we efficiently, effectively, it will be predict the stock markets. Okay. Um, okay. Our overall study is, aim, uh, overall aim of the study is to, based on the uh, stock market analysis, uh, and what are the layers and the input uh, can be produced through stock market, uh, through artificial intelligence to forecast the stock market. So, okay, we are used to the uh, main uh, two techniques. Uh, we know markets are uh, non-linear and markets are uh, unpredictable. Uh, it's, it will be changed according to the climatic changes and according to the performance of the company. Uh, we don't know uh, what next comes to our uh, uh, what next comes to our in a trading day. So, it's a, it's not an unpredictable situation. So. Uh, uh, we, we just try to predict the uh, predict how much is possible to predict the, uh, tomorrow's price of the stock. Maybe the uh, price of the stock is trading uh, uh, profit today. Uh, maybe some of the reasons it will reduce the price from next day. So we don't we don't know the exact reason. It, it will include of a, uh, so many of reasons. Maybe some demand and supply. Maybe the company's performance. Maybe the economic reason. Uh, maybe other companies' performance. Uh, our competition on an entire industrial program. So it, it, it's all include the uh, market to uh, focus on a particular. So uh, it, is, it, is, uh, it is quite uh, unnatural to predict the market in an everyday situation. But we are already trying the fundamental analysis. The fundamental analysis based on the fundamentals of the company, 
uh, 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 maybe accounting principles or a uh, or a uh, economic or industry data so we we have available data to predict the market on a very clean basis but the fundamental analysis is to focus only in a long run but uh, technical but on other end we have technical analysis where to buy a stock and where to entry and where to uh, give a exit of the stock so it will give a um, it, it, it will give a over, overall point of the stock to uh, so to predict some level maybe it's, it's it will completely it's, it will not completely ignore that fundamental analysis but uh, for some extent and it will predict that day basis are a uh, short term basis so technical analysis will be a short term basis and fundamental analysis will be a long term basis for a you know sort of traders who can uh, trade in a stock market so okay so comes to a topic called artificial intelligence artificial intelligence in the stock market as a conceptual of neural neural networks okay new what is neural networks neural networks are based on a human uh, human bio neural networks okay but human bio neural networks are the combinations of the multiple layers and the neurons uh, uh, connected with each other and the multiple it has a multiple layer multiple layer means uh, uh, we, we how, how we can how we can subtract that or how, how we can uh, adopt that multiple layer into the artificial intelligence model. so this is our core core conceptual studies okay how so far the stock market reacting to the stock market stock markets uh, through artificial intelligence okay we are using a multi level uh, perception and uh, and algorithm to use it to predict the stock market okay what is multi level perception okay what, what mlm uh, mlp as a, as a tool of tool to predict the stock market is one of the key key, key factor it is not a uh, wholesome factor uh, okay previously uh, one of the uh, speaker also mentioned that uh, stock market is not only about algorithm or manipulating of uh, data it will big data will be a bit problem so but stock market we have to uh, we have to use algorithms on the uh, predict uh, previous data we have to use a predict uh, prediction of the stock market we have to use a uh, historical data to predict the market okay so what are the input we can give we can give uh, it, it is it is multiple level already we said it's multiple level. what are the level it's input level input layer hidden layer and uh, output layer okay we will we will insert the data in input layer and it will process to the output layer we are but in a in a multi level process it will be a hidden factor hidden factors will be giving a, giving a weight adjustment these weight adjustments will produce the exact results so, okay what what we can uh, what what we called as a weight adjustment weight adjustment weight adjustment we we will not simply adjust the weight it will it will take a multiple process of training okay multiple process of training and training rate will be fixed this is where the uh, <clears throat> This is where the artificial intelligence stock market becoming more complicated. Okay, simply we can say it, it will be the input and it will go, go to the output, but it's not simple. Uh, fix, the fixing of the weight and uh, the uh, regarding uh, adjustments of the weight is the main key about all the stock market prediction through uh, artificial intelligence. So we have discussed about the artificial intelligence through how we can adjust the weight and how we can predict the market through uh, neural uh, artificial neural networks. So this will be a conceptual study on the based on the overall uh, stock market prediction. We we compare our uh, studies to other fundamental technical analysis. Yes, stock market can be predicted through artificial intelligence also, but uh, it will be a, it will be not a, a handy to the common investor. Uh, if if a, if a common investor can uh, can easily access the data of fundamental analysis to companies, the economic data is easily available. If anyone can uh, use a technical analysis for a, based on some uh, some studies uh, required, some financial knowledge is required. But artificial analysis is entirely different category. Uh, we we have to know our financial statements also, and we have to apply, and we have to that we have to know our data analysis also. We have to, we we could know. How, how we can apply the artificial intelligence formula? So these are the complications we are having in a uh, artificial intelligence to uh, forecasting the share market. So uh, it it can be possible, but it will it will not a handy one. Uh, everyone can use it. It will need a, a big cost and maintenance cost. So this this is not a suitable for the every common man. So it will be suitable for the uh, big investors who can invest in a thousand crores, two thousand crores in a company. So th this will be a Useful for them. Uh, but overall, our concept will be: yes, we can predict the stock market to artificial intelligence. So that's our conclusion of this. Trip. Thank you for the opportunity, and thanks our management, and thanks our department HOD, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar sir. Uh, thanks, thank you everyone. Thanks.
Thank you, Shravana, sir, for sharing your knowledge on your stock markets. Next, moving on to the last uh, person. Research scholar, I would like to invite uh, research scholar Yashoda to present her paper. Hello, ma'am. Just few seconds, ma'am. She's just connecting. Geeta, ma'am? Ma'am. Yeah, she, yeah, I have informed her. She's just connecting, ma'am. Yeah, Yashoda? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. A very good afternoon to so, uh, all guests. Go ahead with your presentation. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. Now I'm here to present on the topic, role of artificial intelligence in consumer buying behavior analysis. First, I'd like to give an introduction about the artificial intelligence. In this decade, the domination of artificial intelligence is nearly every industry is indisputable. By eliminating redundant tasks, it is facilitating business to accurately predict consumer behavior. The more the businesses know their customers, the better. To pro provide the best customer experience, you need to know as much information on your consumers as you can. Getting this information is pretty hard if you use traditional methods. However, with the power of artificial intelligence, it could be much more effective. 75% of companies that have implemented AI, that is artificial intelligence, and its subdivisions, machine learning, are boosting its machine learning by 10%. So here, for analyzing the consumer behavior, it could save enormous amount of time when compared to the human employees. All the errors that people can attempt, it could be el uh, eliminated in this process. Gartner reported that artificial intelligence will expand to $3.9 trillion in 2022, where their 40% uh, of uh, data will be automated. But that is for the future. Now let us look at the present condition of the artificial intelligence. First, now let us see how artificial intelligence is helping to predict the consumer behavior. It is predicting the trends in consumer behavior. So it is predicting the consumer behavior trends. So how it is uh, predicting is, it collects the data from social media and news, and it will give the sufficient information to the business people. And the second one, content marketing. In the past, Google needs a keyword to give the suggestion for us. But now, relating to our search and relating to the previous search, it is publishing all the contents which we want in the top most. So it is also one thing of uh, getting the marketing purpose. And the next thing, it is reshaping the consumer's experience. That is by using the Facebook, WhatsApp and uh, mailing, uh, these things collect our data and it, it serves more and more and it will give the relevant information about the customers to the business people. And it assists in consumer sentimental analysis. That is, uh, in every business, they have the review portion. That is, it consists of positive, negative and also neutral comments. So it welcomes everybody to give their own opinion. So consumers can give their own opinion about the business and it determines the position of the business and they can also improvise their in-business uh, things. Here I would like to tell a wordings. The founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates said that your, un uh, your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. 
that is when we are gathering information about the unhappy customers and what are all deviations are there then only we can gather it and then we can rectify it to get into the successful business now how it is influencing the consumer behavior first consumer spending time will increasing due to this artificial intelligence consumers are spending more and more because they are searching for one purpose but it is giving the suggestions uh, plenty of suggestions it is giving so our wants and demands getting increased in this uh, this uh, by this the consumer spending time will increase and consume customers loyalty will also get increased loyalty customers are the most valuable assets in the business so by using the artificial intelligence loyal loyal customers will be created and the business no need of worrying about losing the customers and the customers expectation will also get increased here customers uh, whatever they are expecting it is reflected in the system so it is easily it can be approached by the business people and they can make their alteration what they want and its benefit is nothing but uh, the positive impact is made on enabling marketers it is mainly for the it is like a substitution for the marketers now in this enormous world there are many competitions there are many competitors and many brands which were leading in their competition they need to know whether the customers are satisfied or not or whether they are familiar with the product or not everything they are very much in need so rather than giving it to the human employees it is very 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 essential to give it for the machine learning purpose so by this i i am not up uh, i am not coming to say that uh, our scientists are useless like that nothing like that but they can be used for many sophisticated tasks the data scientists can be used for sophisticated tasks and this machine learning process can be used for the routine ones this is what the suggestion i want to give regarding this uh, research and marketers are studying the behavior of online users to increase the effectiveness of their marketing plans and strategies so by it is very important to comprehend needs and expectation of the uh, consumers to stay ahead of the composition uh, competition now i'd like to conclude we are living in a world where automation and continuous development are a new reality the rise in applications and the usage of artificial intelligence has opened the door for numerous opportunities that were once beyond the imagination the same is in the case with marketing also artificial intelligence has made its impact in the marketing sector and the results are astounding the growth of behavioral marketing seems to be rocketing with the involvement of artificial intelligence that is chatbox personalized feeds and machine learning tools tracking behavior have turned the world of marketing upside down where traditional methods are no longer being needed with the implementation of artificial intelligence since marketing has certainly evolved for any business to grow and be competitive in the market artificial intelligence driven solution should be considered because consumer satisfaction is the prime concern of the organization they invest in artificial intelligence to know more consumer behavior artificial intelligence is something that marketers can depend on and is beneficial to both the consumers and also to the sellers thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity thank you yashoda ma'am for uh, sharing your uh, topic on this artificial intelligence and the robotics as department of commerce is very proud to say that we have received very national and international papers on the main theme robotics and artificial intelligence in the business as well as many core themes also so few i want to list it out the role of artificial intelligence in the digital marketing a conceptual study environmental economics and sustainability research prospective a conceptual study to explore the application of artificial intelligence in human resource management in india role of artificial intelligence in customer relationship management in india retail industry the role of artificial intelligence in the digital marketing a conceptual study 
a particular study on the strategic leadership through artificial intelligence, a study on the factors influencing visual media advertising on women consumer psychology in Chennai city, sustainable development in education through educational intelligence and the big data analysis and the list goes on. So here we are almost here. So next I would like to call Dr. Senthil Mati ma'am to deliver the rapturous report of this event. Yeah, good afternoon one and all. Ma'am, are you able to hear me? Ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Here is a glimpse of our speakers who are available for inaugural address and keynote uh, address uh, on the topic of role of robotics, automation, and artificial intelligence in business. To start with uh, our uh, first guest, Dr. Rangarajan, sir, he's the head of the department, Department of Commerce, University of Madras. Sir has insisted that factors of production, those were the days, land, labor, capital was the factors of the production. Now, machinery has replaced the uh, role of a man in the production or any customer relationship management. And he has also said that artificial intelligence is going to save the time, it is going to increase the productivity, and he has given the example of ICICI and retail marketing of Amazon, Flipart, which has got an immediate output. Next, our guest, Dr. Narendran Kaliyappan. He is a senior lecturer, School of International Studies, University of Uttar Malaysia. He has given the he has uh, given a statistical data like nearly 85 million jobs are going to be eliminated in the year 2025. And he has to say he has said to retain the jobs, we need to upskill and reskill the future of uh, our manpower to retain in the job market. And he has also said that it is going to uh, uh, no, it has brought a new tech specialization. And uh, he has insisted on cobalt technology, which is going to be, which has been used in the healthcare industry, and it has been used in medical peripherals. And he has also got an example of Alibaba and Amazon, who is the e-commerce side, which has been using for the marketing of their product. Next, our guest Anil Babu, Chief Technical Officer, Triple S JPPI Private Limited, Germany, has said. Artificial intelligence is going to bring a comfortable and lead a happy life and, has, and he has shown a video on Tesla which has been really good and it was, uh, it was enjoyable for the audience. Next, our guest uh, Vino Chander, Vipro Technologies has said role of artificial intelligence has, he has said like uh, he, since he has been into a payment industry, the entire payment industry that is the processing of Visa and MasterCard for payment, he has said this paper has been replaced by the robotics and he has uh, given introduction of uh, how airport is going to be automated and all those things. And next, our guest, uh, Madhivanan Ilungovan, founder and CEO of uh, Mabot Robotics. He has said, he speaks on uh, network connectivity and he has insisted more use of robotics and artificial intelligence for uh, welfare of the kids since we are in the work from home or any kind of this pandemic there's nobody to take care of the kids at home so he has said uh, artificial intelligence or robotics is going to help to take care of the kids which is uh, being replaced uh, next our guest gh karina binu hod uh, mba sa engineering college mama said about the ability of mission of future performance again uh, he has got an example of alexa alexa you know very well like it has been used by amazon you can just give a voice message to alexa and he will do whatever you want no whatever direction is being given uh it can be implemented mama said like since it has been 90 it is being used in 1960 60 started in 1960s but very recently it has been um, uh, popularly used and uh, uh it has been um you no know, artificial intelligence has been used even for employee boarding and analysis of business decisions and Madam Dr. Kavita, Madam is uh, Assistant Professor and Research Supervisor, Department of Commerce, Gurunana College. Mama has told about how artificial intelligence is going to help the customer relationship management, fraud reduction, how it is going to help in decision making, satisfying the customer, all these customer care uh, call centers, and in daily life, how the artificial intelligence is used in home security. And it has, ma'am has also insisted nowadays it is being used in the militaries. Uh, next, our uh, guest, Mr. Mr. M. Binod, uh, Anna University, product manager of international control Switzerland. Uh, Sarah said about uh, 
destructive technology and the cross function and the manual work which is uh, which helps in making money and raising the time and uh, next up i guess the dr rohini bad assistant professor uh, school of business aurora university surat and mam has spoken about how artificial intelligence is going to help in uh, predicting the weather uh, digitalization and uh, know how it is going to take uh, take care of the business function and the computation of uh, taxation how it is going to helpful in uh, know this uh, running of drones uh, running of alexas all those things and uh, yeah yes ma'am geeta ma'am thank you dr sanjeevati ma'am for this surprising this event and covering all the guests as well as their presentation Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Almost we have reached to the end of the program. Lastly, I would like to call the person who has been behind this all this event, the brain behind this international conference, Comcon Three, Dr. S. Meena, to propose a word of thanks. Good afternoon, all. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a word of thanks on this special day. This is the most memorable day for our Department of Commerce. Today, we have hosted the international conference on the theme, role of robotics, automation, and artificial intelligence in business. We are happy with 1,600 participants registered for the conference and 54 participating colleges and universities across all streams of education, from science to technology to research. Since virtual, we have segregated the students, viewers in YouTube link, and guest faculties, research. scholars and faculty members in the zoom app we have also received papers from research scholars faculty fraternities and students both national and international we would be taking the next step in publication with kripa dishu publications our papers would be published in uh, ugc listed journals uh, we had uh, scholars and uh, faculty members who have contributed their uh, research works we had also participants from national and international for the publications on behalf of the department of commerce dr mgr educational and research institute university i extend my humble thanks to our supporter i i'm sorry i extend my humble thanks to our supporter management for their constant motivation to organize programs i thank dr ac shanmugam sir honorable founder and chancellor engineer acs arun kumar sir honorable president professor r m baskam chancellor sir dr s geeta lakshmi madam vice chancellor dr c b palnivel sir registrar dr c b jagarat sir additional registrar i would also convey my regards and hearty thanks to our guests for their valuable inputs on highlighting the conference theme to the gatherings my special thanks to dr r rangarajan dean in charge of college development council professor and head of commerce university of madras at this time i would also like to thank mr navin research scholar who has helped us and assisted us in meeting our guest dr r angarajan sir my special thanks are also to dr narendra kalipan sir senior lecturer international studies university uttara malaysia uh, indeed it was a very great pleasure dr narendra sir has been with us right from the inaugural until the program thank you so much sir Mr. Anil Babu, Chief Technical Officer, SSJP Private Limited, Germany. Mr. Madhavan and Elangovan, Founder and CEO, Mepot Robotics. Mr. Vishnu Chandru, Wipro Technologies, USA. Dr. Karina Veen, Professor, HOD Department of Management Studies, SA Engineering College. Mr. Vinod, Product Manager, Audit, Risk and Internal Control, Nestle, Switzerland. Dr. M. Kavita, Assistant Professor, Research Supervisor, Research Department of Commerce, Guru Nanak College. Dr. Rohini Bhat, Assistant Professor, School of Business, Aurora University, Surat. Uh, thank you so much to all the guest speakers who have made the day uh, with more memorable event, memorable by sharing their events or sharing their experiences. I would also like to thank our head of the department, Professor C. B. Sandal Kumar, for his continuous and vigilant in taking the department to the greater heights. This conference, Concon Three, is his one dream, and it's been achieved successfully. I also thank the conference coordinators who have been with us for uh, you know from the day one or from the day of inception in the planning until the day for the completion of the 
process. Thank you to the coordinators. I also like to thank the association convener, Ms. Mohana Priya, for all her support rendered uh, for the conference. My special thanks to the technical assistance support provided by Mr. Arumugam and Mr. Saravanan, sir. And I also like to thank uh, Ms. Geeta Lakshmi, the organizing secretary, along with me, who has been with, the, with us for the, board, uh, for the conference. And also, I would be failing if I'm not mentioning the host for the event. Thank you, ma'am. So our unity is our strength. Our department, our strength is our staff. My special thanks are to Ms. Sugita, the coordinator, who has been uh, you know, taking initiative in uh, arranging the uniformity among the staff for the attire. Thank you, ma'am. I also like to thank all our department staff members, office assistants, for their valuable support in organizing this mega event. I also like to thank all the honorable delegates for their presence, students for this success. Successful people are not gifted, just they work hard, then succeed on purpose. I wish you all a great success in all your future endeavors. Thank you all. Um, Meena, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Meena, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, on, on behalf of my candidate, Yashoda, I would like to thank our HOD sir for giving her an opportunity to present the paper since she is presenting the paper for the first time. For our, I thank our HOD sir, Dr. C.P. Sindhil Kumar sir, for giving her the opportunity, Ma'am. Thank you so much, Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. I request the participants uh, to just uh, uh, participate in the event. Uh, uh, so that it will be helpful for us for the certificates. Ma'am, one minute, shall I, ma'am? Shall I proceed one second, ma'am? Yashoda, ma'am? Yes. Yes, Yashoda. Ma'am, I thank you. Uh, I thank our HOD, Department of Commerce, Dr. C.B. Sandal Kumar, for giving me a great opportunity to present my paper today. This was the first press paper presentation for me. I would really like to thank our HOD and also organizing secretary, ma'am, Dr. S. Meena and Dr. Uh, Geeta Lakshmi, ma'am, and all the other faculty members. I'd like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity to present my paper here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, Ishoda, all the best for your uh, research. Uh, now I would request uh, to raise for the national anthem. Participants kindly fill in the feedback link posted in the chat box. Faculty members of uh, Department of Commerce and GR University, we request you to open your video so that we can have a photo session. Faculty members, kindly switch on your video so that we can have the photo session.
We would be happy if all of you, uh, faculty members, please. You will not find that the sessions will. Sir, in Aloka, Sir, in Aloka. Uh, and today is a very interesting, uh, the third international conference has uh, successfully uh, completed. So all the faculty members, all the delegates, and uh, all the participation, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. This time we all can wind up for the lunch. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.